Welcome to another episode of Biblical Affirmations. Let's dive in. Today, we're going to be talking about how to fast and where did the idea of fasting come from biblically. So in the Bible, fasting is one of the ways to spiritually deepen yourself and grow a stronger relationship with God. Oftentimes, whenever you see people preparing for great ministry, great manifestation, great miracles, things of that nature, fast tend to happen. God honors sacrifice. So it's the fact that you're putting in or killing a piece of yourself in order to gain or obtain more strength from him via his Holy Spirit. This is what we do. Granted, the Holy Spirit is always with you. You can still perform miracle signs and wonders. But at the same time, when you fast, it's on a different level. So step one, seek God's guidance. Before you start any type of fast, you need to figure out how to pray about it. See how long God wants you to fast. See exactly how he wants you to fast. And what are the priorities? What are the goals? What are the focuses? Step two, choose the type of fast that you're going to be on. So you have the options like a full fast, better known as a water fast. You're not eating anything. You're not consuming any type of solids, only water. Then there's a Daniel's fast. That generally includes fruits, nuts, waters, and vegetables. Daniel 1 and 12 and Daniel 10 verses 2 through 3 are great examples for this. Another type of fast is a media fast. No social media, no television, no cell phone, etc. Keep in mind, these are forms of sacrifice. Number three, like I said before, set a duration. You already prayed for it, so honor it and outline it. But on top of that, make sure you're setting out times to pray, to read, to make sure that you're in your Bible. You don't want to just fast from something like, oh, I fasted from it. No, you have to fill that space in that time with spiritual enrichment. Get greater revelation from your Bible. If you normally pray 15 minutes, shoot for 20, shoot for 30. Or if you normally pray one or two times a day, shoot for three to five. Once again, it's a sacrifice and a spiritual enhancement process. Next, we're going to avoid boasting. A great example is Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 through 18. When fasting, keep it private. It's between you and God. There is, and I repeat, there is no reason to make this public at all. Unless you're doing like a congregational fast, the whole church has decided to do something together. But I'm talking about you one-on-one. -on -one. Keep it between you and God. And then after all of these things, we gently break the fast once we're done. You want to gently ease back into your regular eating. Hopefully you picked up a lot of things that will probably help you eat a lot better than before because, you know, why not gain new weights? But you want to typically, as gently as possible, break back into your normal eating patterns because you don't want to mess anything up. And that goes with holistic health anyway, too. You don't just jump right back from a fast into some craziness. But what's even more important than that is continuing your uh, spiritual discipline. You fasted to grow and get stronger and have new ways. Now you have them. Enforce them. Enrich them. You need to practice. And last but not least, stay accountable. Build yourself an accountability board that will help you out. You cannot get through this life alone. But I hope this helped y'all. God bless. See y'all later. Hit that sanctified follow button.